Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m minus n, the same thing as a raised to the power m over a raised to the power n. This is what we have here become 7 raised to the power x over 7 square equals to 28 from here. That is here yeah, we can as well write this as 7 raised to the power x over 7 squared that's 49 then here yeah, we can write it as 28 over 1 then next step here yeah, we cross multiply 7 raised to the power x times 1 same thing as 7 raised to the power x then equals to 28 times 49 then next step here yeah, we take the log on both sides, that is we have log 7 raised to the power x equals to log 28 times 49. That is, here we apply the power of log logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. That is, what we have here becomes x log 7 equals to log 28 times 49. And next step here, we divide both sides by log 7. Divide this side by log 7. Also, divide this side by log 7, which implies log 7 cancelled each other here. We are left with x, which is equals to log 28 times 49 over log 7 then next step from here this follows from the law of logarithm when we have log a times b this same thing as log a plus log b that is all we have becomes x equals to log 28 plus log 49 all over log 7. That is, here we separate this into two fractions, and what we have becomes x equals to log 28 over log 7 plus log 49 over log 7. And here, 49, same thing as. 7 times 7, which is 7 squared. That is, here what we have becomes x equals to log 28 over log 7 plus log 7 squared over log 7. And here we apply the power of logarithm. 2 comes here, and what we have becomes x equals to log 28 over log 7 plus 2 log 7 over log 7 here. Then, from what we have here, log 7 cancelled each other. We have two left. That is, x now equals to log 28 over log 7 plus 2. That is, what we have as well, we can express 28 as 7 times 4, which implies we have x now equals to log 7 times 4 over log 7 plus 2 here. Then, from here, this also follows the law of logarithm, and we can write it as x equals to log 7 plus log 4 over log 7 then plus 2 here. That is, we separate this into two fractions, and what we have becomes x equals to log 7 over log 7 plus log 4 over log 7 plus 2. At this here, log 7 cancel each other. We have one left here. 
which implies x equals to 1 plus 2, then plus log 4 over log 7. That is the same thing as x equals to 3 plus log 4. We can express as 2 squared, then over log 7. Then next here, we apply the power of log 2 comes here, and what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 over log 7. Then from here, also applying change of base, when we have log a over log b, this is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 to base 7. So here we have the value of x in this problem as 3 plus 2 log 2 base 7. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here. Which is x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 7. Then what we have here now becomes 7 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 2 base 7. Then we have minus 2. Is it equals to 28 on this side? Then next step here we have 3 minus 2. That's 1. So this becomes 7 raised to the power 1 plus 2 log 2 is 7. This is equal to 28 on this side. And this here follows the law of indices. When we have a raised to the power m plus n, this is the same thing as a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n. That is, yeah, what we have become 7 raised to the power 1 times 7 raised to the power 2 log 2 is 7. Is it equals to 28 on this side? Then 7 raised to power 1, that's 7. Then times. Here we can reverse this from power law. Log area. And 2 comes up here. And we have 7 raised to power log 2 square is 7. Is it equals to 28 on this side? Then here we have 7 times 7 raised to power log. 2 squared, that's 4 with 7. Is it equals to 28 on this side? Then, yeah, this follows the log log ring. When we have a raised to power log b to base a, the same thing as b here. At this here, we have 4. At this 7 times 4, is it equals to 28 here? And of course, 7 times 4 gives us 28, which is equals to 28 on this side. Now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side. Hence, from here, we conclude that x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 7. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the description bell. Share this video if it comes up and put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.